Cyber Elf Elpizo said, I'm always so glad to be able to see any of your streams on time. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Well, this week it wasn't hard because you're batting a thousand. I have been uh, struggling in the mornings, getting ready for Iceland this weekend. Tomorrow we should have a nice long stream. Today will be a normal one where I run off to school feverishly, but it is great to see you, see you Cyber Elf. See. C E E C. So most of the time I've been able to play in the mornings, but not get started over here the way I wanted to. Dark Blade, good morning. Since it's past the third round. No one will be able to enter, of course, but we can give the general dojo link for those who wish to join in the future. I want to commend all the new members of the dojo as we started, I believe, last weekend with 4,400, give or take. And in the past week, we've had 92 new members. 92 new members. It's quite crazy. Give or take. Perhaps a little less, perhaps a little more. So roughly a hundred members this week, and we were at like 4485 earlier today. We're gaining between uh, seven and ten members a day, which is pretty cool. And on the weekends, we're going to take a little bit of a step back, unfortunately, but we have broken 2,000 in the previous weekend. I believe it was on Saturday that it had a simul that made sure that it went over 2,000. And I will try to do something like that this weekend. If, for whatever reason, my wife needs to take a nap, if, for whatever reason, I can do what I need to do with my computer in Reykjavik, if I have a balcony where I can sit outside and stream at the same time, that's what I'm going to do. IRL stream from Fisher's Grave, scheduled for this coming Monday. I'm hoping that the internet will hold up. I will find out what I need to do. My current hotspot does not work. In Europe, the one that I travel around the US with, the one that I will probably stream from the Marshall with. In fact, I owe MD Night Zero a live stream from the Marshal. I was hoping to coordinate it with him. I do feel the debt of all those viewers, such as the amazing Ron Hay, who is in the chat, who's in the tournament. 
We're going to get three games in before we have to go. Before we have to run to the train station. Then we'll know. Am I not streaming yet? It doesn't show me as streaming. It does show me up there, so maybe I need to play a game in order to actually be here. We'll know in just a moment. Let's watch. Papa Cha Cha versus Ron Hay in a tedious night endgame. Where Ron is down upon, or was down upon. He's getting invaded, unfortunately. Looks as though he's going to be able to pick up this pawn in the immediate future. Followed by. Cyber Rook. Elf Elbizo. Said. I have, after long consideration, decided oh, that no. I Anglo it was an exchange more. are not sufficient as my repertoire against D4 and have started to study mainline QGD. So, the mainline Queen's Gamut Decline, there's a great book by Plagerich on the Queen's Gamut Decline, I believe. It was absolutely lovely. Papa Chacha did not hold up. Ron is back over 2200, and we have a round starting in just a moment. Err, need to screw closer. As we're going to use our touch screen. I still need some A4s, by the way. We'll check my uh, status in just a moment. We could have probably done that. I'm actually going with the Alakine's defense with the white pieces. Against E5 this time. And we'll just chip away. Now, in what variation is... Normal foreplay. Thanks for subscribing. I need cough now. Good morning for the 28 months. Thank you so much. I need coffee now. Do I wish to do this? Let's start by removing the defender of the center. Attacking the center. It is time for coffee. Pegasus, Ron, I've already given you a nice shout out, but we're going to give our opponent a little bit of a heave ho here with two weaknesses. Thank you for the 28 months, Ron. I was just commending you and MD90 for your massive support for the stream. Can I just play it this way? Or is he setting me a trap? He is setting me a trap. As it turns out. Got more than one pawn coming, ladies and gentlemen. More than one pawn. Well, that might have helped. Cyber Elf Elpizo said. I do want to exchange and simplify. That white can avoid NF3 and that black can play G6 without fianchettoing the kingside bishop for the powerful knight placement on E6. Indeed. How is he going to set about bothering me? That is the question. Welcome, my team. Shaken, not stirred. Thank you for joining the dojo. That's for work. Alright, now this is just a fascinating move. Network, yes, you. What is going on point. here? We're still attacking the knight on the e7, so we'll uh, just batten down some hatches here. And... Let's just keep it up. So he's threatening my knight. We're going to have to... ...decide what we're doing here. Should we keep up the threats? Yeah, let's just keep up the threats. If at all possible. The threats of simplification. Guarding and attacking, attacking and a guarding. Let's 
Did we simplify? Let's keep up the pressure. Where could he possibly be going? I do want to simplify. We're going to continue to simplify. I can't attack his queen just yet. We have enough pawns. Mm -hmm. Where are you headed? Where are you headed and what does it all mean? Can I grab another pawn? Yuck. All right, I have to think about this. I've had a little bit of a time advantage the whole time. Probably would have been worth Cyber my while to play king to b1. Said, the move rook to e8 on move 9 before black s queenside bishop develops is the disciplined development order to facilitate the knight reroute that you can also appreciate about the king s indian attack. Let's just keep bothering him. See where he chooses to go. Well. Surprise, surprise, surprise. to continue to seek some simplification. Trading pawns. Giving back one on the queen side, but... But... Maybe his knight will not come out of there. Let's just see where his knight plans on exiting. Trapping the knight. Mm-hmm. And now for something completely different. Cyber Elf Elbizo. Said. All this made me truly reconsider much of my dogma about an early NF3 from white being so ubiquitous. So ubiquitous? Wow, there's a lot of stuff in that uh, statement there. We're going to go for it. Is he playing Rook to D2? I'm sorry, rook to e2. Interesting. Let's see, how do we get our knight to d5 the fastest? Or should we bother him at all? Yeah, let's just do it. Get this pawn moving. And now for something completely different. Just a brief checkup to get him out of my hair. Move along little doggies. 
Pass pawns were meant he to be did. pushed. Said. Hello. And now for something completely different. The other day, playing uh, Dragon Emperor, who beat me six and a half, five and a half. I believe that was the update on our match. Good morning, Chess Kid. How are you, sir? Update. Let me just see what the final was. Whoops. I can spell it properly. Oh, it was six to seven? No, was it six to seven? Did we actually get to six six? Dra Dark Blade, did we get to six six? My god. I climbed all the way back. He had me like five and a half, two and a half. For what I remember, was the previous score. Battling back and then failing at the last minute. With one more win, we might make it to page one. My goal is to hopefully finish ahead, ahead of Dar uh, the well healed king if I get a chance at it. I don't know that I will. G Sir, probably my next opponent. The one and a half. I play the bottom fellow with two. So we have Ron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Said. What is your fighty rate? <coughs> oh, my fighty rating is low. My first ever fide rating was 2195. Said. Powdered coffee is fine right now, waiting for the kettle. <laughs> In the United States, we call it instant coffee. We're going to exercise some privileges in the Dutch. And we do have some issues going on. We're going to play a classical Dutch recommended by... <laughs> Let's just make sure that we don't lose any material here. Uh-oh. This does look like he might have lost a piece. We have more where that came from. So we're going to bother his queen. We're going to keep the white squares under control. Can we offer him this? Takes, takes, takes. Yeah, we do have to offer him this. Interesting. Is he trying to open up the file? Is he not? Told me once, but I forgot. I'm not interested in exchanges so much. But we're trying to slow down his attack. That will be interesting. Can I hide behind the pawn? Hmm. Let's return to where we were, just in case any funny business happens. I don't need any open lines in front of my kick. We'll just tuck ourselves in here for the long haul. Since we have an extra pizza. Uh, 
offer some exchanges. This just looks too exciting not to pass up. He gads, folks. Oh, is that a real deal? Are you threatening me? Okay, he is threatening me. Much is true. Who? Let's just keep threatening. Just keep threatening. Threatening, threatening. Don't need to move his rooks to the open files, but we will now. Threaten mate. That was mate. Two and a half. All right. Well, he'll king must peel away from me now. How does he do it? Otherwise, we're going to have a streamer versus streamer class in just a moment. 550 with one round to go. The 10 seconds between rounds it does seem to be working. I'm not entirely sure, but I feel it is working. I'm not a big fan of this particular plan because we have no way to guard this pawn. I think we have to check. This is forced. Well, Healed King is doing well here. We're going to have to reroute our bishop. Shove, shove, shove. There are no open files for the white, for the black rook, so he's holding. He's holding pretty well. Oh no! The two weaknesses. Got him. Was there a way to avoid that? Was there a way to avoid that? Could we have given this up? It doesn't look like we had any way to save this pawn on a2. The weakness was just too great. Black played really, really well here. Mike, this is a very good game. Trap that rook. Keep that rook trap. Shove twice. Not on that side of the board. I don't think we're going to get anywhere on that side of the board. But we can try. Yes. Now we have a weakness on h4. Cyber Elf Elbizo said, Trying is the first step toward failure. <laughs> Try not do. So is that rook trap? That's what it looks like. C5 is somewhat forced. Oh, it's a fork. It's not a fork. It was an exchange of weaknesses. I think we had to play this move regardless of the past pawn afforded it. Nicely done. Well healed king. I don't think I'm going to get a chance at the well healed king unless he has played all of these fellas. Let's just go back for a moment and check our opening book is white. What do we need here? We're at 109. I believe we're at 110. 
eight fours. We need nine H3s. Fair enough. So we're going to get one more H3 in. We're going to finish off our H3s on our GTO. Try not do. Did I get a full point pie? I was really worried there for a moment. Reload. So G Serp. I don't know who I'm rooting for here. Blishnik? Let's just do the pairings very quickly. So Blishnik is still playing. There are four players. The well healed king is due to play Rod. So I do have a chance to catch him. If Blishnak reaches three and a half points, I don't think I can catch him unless he loses. Then he's going to be playing Loon Boss. Nico Demonius is back. Nico. Nico. <laughs> I'm going to edit that command for the proper spelling. Control C. Update. Demonius said, Hello there, long time. Oops, edit com. That's what I needed. Dope. Now we've got it. Indeed, it's been a long time. How are you? What have you been up to? I wish I could say I've been playing over the board chess, but not yet. I'll throw some Nico. It has appeared once before. I did miss you, buddy. I hope the family is well. Nicodemonius said, drowning in work for past months. This could be a bad thing, but it's a great thing. Uh, H3 is what we're going to play. H3. And G4. And the Grunfeld with G4. How about that? The Grunfeld with G4. We're going to see how this works out. Very intriguing proposition here. Hyper aggressive. Only a few lines are uh, really bothered here. He does have the option to take back with the bishop, which is unfortunate. doesn't stop me, by the way. That does not stop me from taking what I want to take. All of my pawns are weak, though. It's terribly sad.
Am I concerned about that, Juan? I certainly am. This is not very useful at all. Looks like I have to go for it. With F5. I cannot afford to have myself hemmed in here. Losing a pawn? No good. What? I'm not losing a pawn? Or am I losing a pawn? Mm-hmm. This is going to be a fascinating fork. And now for something completely different. Can I get my king up there? Oh no, I missed my chance. I mean, in one move, ladies and gentlemen. Now I get to win again. Or do I? Am I too far away? I queen first, for what it's worth. Can't believe I had that two moves in a row, but he got an opportunity for some gig and spiel. I think I can stop him from queening. This is very ugly. tumbling down at the world. Take the pawn with check no matter what happens. Very lucky. I can't believe I blundered that one. That one has to go in my uh, my book. Positions. Let's go back. Are we all caught up? 110 A4s. 192 H3s. So we have uh, G4 and B4, A4 and H4. The two flank pawns need to be really worked and H3. This is so bad, honestly. So terribly bad. Rook to e8, and I'm suffering. I'm sorry, rook on the c to g8, and I'm suffering. And he allowed some Kegenspiel. Blunder, losing the game. And I missed the immediate pawn promotion. Anytime a move is missed in the game, to appear in the pawn. Bishop H3 winning. And then he pushes. He had a chance to move his king and he would have uh, saved the day because his pawns are much stronger than mine. King H2 was 11. But did join the podium for a moment. However, Nico is going to join me. He's going to bump me out. There's no doubt in my mind that Nico is going to bump me out. Please, Nico. Let's take care of business, Nico. Nico has a time advantage against Loon Boss, but it looks like the game could be a draw. 
How do we get there from here? We can guard it from behind. Or can we? Just a little bit sketchy now. Bishop, Bishop. Bishop. Bishop c6 probably best. To avoid the king invading. Or that move. Move may work too. So the opponent has two pass pawns, two or more files apart. This is unfortunate. We're gonna have some difficulty save in this game. With the past pawn two or more files apart, the king can invade. That's not good. King help one pawn promote. While holding the other one inside the thing. No good. So I've held my own against Blechnik. No matter which of these opponents win, I bumped off the podium. As though I actually counted. There was a time when I didn't count it. Nico's playing Loon Boss. I have not played either of those players, so I don't have a chance to get ahead of them in tie breaks. Yes, it's the most wonderful time of the year for cold and cost. Well, healed king is still playing Ron. Wait. Oh, I see. We're going in the opposite direction. Still, mate. No accolades. A well healed king with a deserved place on the podium. Nicely done, everybody. Nicely, nicely done. Nico, it is truly great to see you. Thank you, Ron, for the sub. Namaste. I do. I am streaming from Iceland on Monday. I'm going to be at the Fisher Center on Monday. That is the plan. Congrats to everybody. <laughs> and let's do it. But I do have to run. I'm going to catch my train in roughly 10 minutes. It is a 10 minute walk to the subway. Thank you all for being here. Nico, it is truly great to see you, buddy. Thank you for checking in. We'll have a longer stream tomorrow morning. Oh no, we didn't change our YouTube? What's going on here? Nicole stream Nicole title Nicole. didn't change? Said. Checks for the stream. Take care. We never changed the stream title. That's a huge faux pas. That's not going to work either. Let's get it. 
let's get that stream title changed before the raid takes place if we can before we end the stream there we go that's what it should have been namaste ron for the 28 months cheers and ciao everyone thank you you can tell i'm out of whack because i didn't change the stream title I lost to uh, Dark Blade six to five in a best of twelve match, being down five two and a half to five and a half. That was crazy.